Welcome back to the channel. It's Wayne from A1 Electrical Services and Leighton, the main man. Um, today we're doing a hive system for a boiler, you know, the wireless thermostats you can connect over your phone and whatnot. We have got it here. Um, it's been a long time since I've done one of these and I've only ever done one. So I may need a little help with this one, a little bit of Christmas magic. Ho, 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 ho. I've come to help wire the hive system, oh, oh, oh. and I've got my helper with me. <laughs> no, just a bit of fun for Christmas, but um, yeah, we're going to get this done now, get the hive all wired up. I'll show you how I do it, if I can remember that is, but hopefully my Santa hat will give me a bit of a bit of good luck. And uh, yeah, we're going to get it all done. I'll show you like a little how-to and what does what and uh, go from there so I'll see you on the other side see you later. <laughs> right so we just opened up the box now I'll show you what what it all comes with and then uh, you can go from there so you get a hub a thermostat and a receiver basically the hub goes downstairs that connects into your router that gives it its internet connection <laughs> Your thermostat is obviously your thermostat, which you can turn the temperature up and down. It's um, a wireless one, battery powered. And then you've got your single receiver. This is basically the epicenter where all the hard wiring goes into. So, you do all your connections into there. This then talks wirelessly to this. Your receiver, then you've also got the hub part, which will allow you to access it through your phone and whatnot. So yeah, I, I don't know how I'm gonna set this up. Yeah, I'm a bit tight for space. This is the feed for the boiler. I've run a brand new one in from the consumer unit. This is, if you don't know, my friend's house mats again. It's where we're doing like an ongoing rewire. Um, I promised him the high for Christmas. So Santa has given him his Christmas present. So we're gonna get, I'm gonna put a switch view spear on this wall. Um, we're going to get the wiring center up on here as well. Flex it into the boiler. That's that end done. We've got to fix this downstairs then. And then connect that into the router. He has also asked, could I get, cut a double socket into the wall by there for him? So he can, so he's got an extra power point. And he wants a double socket in this, this area as well for a camera, for a CCTV camera. So yeah, crack on with that. And then I'll show you how we go about wiring all this up. Yada yada yada. Bye. I've got the back box mounted now for the fuse spur. I managed to fish up behind the wall, so no trunking needed. Leighton's cracking on with our socket there. I'm just going to show you how I'm wiring this up. I put it. I'm going to wire it all up before I put it in, because it's easier for one, and it'll be easier for me to show you how it goes. So as you can see there, I've got my line, my neutral, and my CPC. They're my permanent feeds now. They'll be coming straight out of my switch wire uh oh, my switch, straight out of my spare so that's the feed to the unit and then obviously take another permanent line a neutral and cpc up to the boiler but we'll also be taking a boiler fire as well which is number three i'll be using a four core flex for that right, so i got my line neutral switch wire and cpc actually i'm using a five core because i'm going to take another common up as well so i can just connect it straight into the stack connection of the boiler because on a boiler you have two connections, like a, an out and an in, so we go out to the start and back in. So I'm going to, you don't have to do that on here, but I am going to do it just so it's done all correctly. So we'll have a line, neutral, a switch line, and uh, back to the boiler, and then obviously our CPC. So we'll, we'll use a five core for that. But I'll just pop the camera on the side now and show you how I go about doing that, and then uh, get it mounted to the wall. <laughs> Thank you. 
So there we go, that's the finished article. So we've got our neutrals, our lines, we've got then the, the common up to the boiler and then the switch wire back, which is going to switch the boiler on when it calls for heat. So I pre-wired that now, I'm gonna fix it on the wall and get my feed into the spur and then obviously the other cable into the boiler. I will show you all that now. It's gonna be hard to get a bit of video in there because it's quite tight, but I'll see what I can rig up and uh, hopefully do something. The camera's having a mad moment. I've got the cover off the boiler now. You may have seen, I don't know if it was recorded or not. But these are the connections I was talking about earlier. So you've got your permanent line, your neutral and your CPC and then these are the boiler ones. So you have a common and your switch live and uh, fire the boiler. That's why I put a five core in. So I've got those cores, all those five there. This is the old connections which will be coming out now because it was just running on a plug top. This is hard to do one handed. I'm going to have to put the camera down. If anyone is at, wants to ask, yes, this is heat resistant flex. And it's all they had in the wholesalers. They asked, would that be okay? I said it would be perfect because I am using, I am wearing a boiler. So it is heat resistant flex. So there we go. Go. I got my permanent line, my neutral, my CPC. I've used the black then of the five core cable as my common down to the receiver, and then I'm using the grey then as the return to fire the boiler. So that's that. Let's get all this back together, and then we'll slot the cover onto the doodad. Right. So that's all in. We just got to put the cover on now for the receiver. I don't know if you can see, but these, these little pins on here, they all line up then with the corresponding terminals up on there like so. And then clicks on, and there's two screws on the bottom to secure it in place. So I'm going to pop that up quickly.
You better not pout. You better not cry. Better not something I'm telling you why. Why is that late? I don't know. <laughs> because Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good. So be good for goodness sake. <sighs> right, so that is on. I do need to change the fuse in here. From a 13 amp to a 3 or a five, depending on what I got. Um, and that's that. I'm gonna put another double socket in here for his cameras. But I won't get that on video. And then I'll show you the downstairs bits. So basically all that's wired. Any questions, let me know. It's pretty straightforward, I think. But uh, yeah, see you in the next bit. Little help has been the Greg's for me. Ooh, probably gonna get crumbs all in my beard. Oh, it's cold. <sighs> right, so next up we're gonna be fitting this. It's pretty straightforward, you just have a bracket on the back. It just pops off. Screw it to the wall and pop your batteries in. So that's what we're gonna be doing. It is gonna be located at the bottom of the stairs above the two-way light switch for the landing and the hole it's going to go somewhere there I would have thought and get that marked up fixed and whatnot and then show you the hub side of things right so this is the hub unit pretty straightforward there's only two connections on you you have your power supply can you hold that camera a minute there? you have your power supply which is just a DC input like that plug it in and then you've got your RJ45 which plugs into your router. So it's literally two connections, your mains and the old connection to your router for your data transfer. So all we've got to do is find this router now, which isn't going to be very easy, is it, late? <laughs> Need another Christmas miracle, I think. But yeah, um, it's literally plug that into your 240 and plug that into the router. It's as simple as that. So I'm going to get that done now. That's all plugged in there now. You can see the light lighting up. And it's plugged in the exit. It's all very temporary here at the minute. As I said, it's an ongoing project. And you can see it's a bit of a mess here. But he's working his way. Upstairs is done. He's working his way back now. He's done the bathroom downstairs. on even enough. Let me just show you. Well, we can't really get in the bathroom because that's a mess as well. But yeah, bathroom's nearly done. Um, he's been having all this tiling going on in the last couple of days. That's why all the rooms are jam-packed. This is going to be like a utility kitchen area and then the lounge out there then. So, yeah, that's what, that's the reason it's a bit of a mess. He's not he's not a bloody tramp. But, yeah, that's all in now. That's up and running. We are just, I'm just going to put the batteries into the receiver now and plug, put that on the wall. So, we are all energised. It's looking good so far. Just gonna pop the batteries into this bad boy. Is it actually gonna, yeah, here we go. Here we go. English. Yes, searching. Just gonna search for the hub now. Fingers crossed. Oh, I think I need to press the button, don't I? Silly Santa. Silly, silly Santa. Well, it should be pairing, but we'll have a look. Yeah, sweet as a boiler's fired, heating's on. I'm not going to download the app and things, purely because I'll have to delete it all anyway. Matt can do that when he gets back, so 
I'll tell him to sort all that out. Right, so the boilers coming away nicely. Put double extra double socket in there for him for his camera, and we have cut in a double socket there. He did ask me to put in his outside light. It's going on a fo there's a focus cell being put out the back, which is controlling it. And there is going to be an override switch. Oh, look at that flicker by the front door. If I just show you, he just wanted like an override switch here. This is the three core then, three core on earth, which is going over to the photo cell. We have an override switch up by here, and the light then is going to be out in this little, what would you call it? A pelmet? I don't know, head? It's not a porch. Anyway, but I asked him, because on this job, Matt's buying all materials, I'm just doing the labour for him. He said it's in there somewhere. I've looked and looked and looked. I cannot find it. I am giving up. Santa has given up because I'm not moving all of our stuff to look for a light and a photo cell. Sorry, Matt, I love you, but I don't love you that much. So that's that. That's the little, a little video about how to wire a hive. Probably not very informative. It's more for entertainment. But anyway, there we are. It's just how I've done it. It's all up and running and working. Please comment if you if you liked it or you've got anything to add or ask why I did something or why I didn't do something. If you want to criticise me like all you other bastards on TikTok, go go for it. I quite enjoy it. I quite having a bit of banter with the trolls. So yeah. Comment away, kids, comment away. Quite suits me this beard actually. But this is probably gonna be our last video now until after Christmas. I may do so. My mother, we're closing down now tomorrow. We're back in the new year. I may do some videos over the Christmas period. Um, it won't be any work related. Um, probably some tool reviews and things. I've got a new bag coming, so I'll probably do a review on that. Also got the TIS stuff to review. I've still got to do a review on the Bosch drill, the the brushless by Turbo SDS. I haven't even turned that on or charged the battery in it. I've just been putting my lock up and it's brand spanking new, which is a bit of a shame. So I'm gonna have to do a review on that as well. So yeah, I might do a few of those over the Christmas period. I'll see what I got time for because I do want to spend a bit of time with the kids. I don't see them very often. So, well, not I don't see them very often. I see them very often, but we don't have enough quality time. So it's gonna be nice to be able to do some stuff with the kids. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And for any work related content, it'll be the new year, unfortunately. But there we are. I want to wish all my subscribers a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from me and Eight Late and the Elf over here. Take care of yourselves, stay safe, and ta -ra.